12 News, the top 12 of 2019. For the next couple of weeks, we'll be counting down the biggest stories of the year, both here in the Valley and across the country. Some of them have made us smile, beam with pride, while others have made us cry and wonder how could something like that happen. Up first at number 12, a viral video of a risky rescue and a woman spinning more than 100 times in midair under a helicopter she didn't even want to take. Team 12's Tram Mai is here with the details. Tram? Guys, people around the country and the world seeing the unbelievable and unimaginable rescue. The woman at the center of the rescue spinning out of control. Oh, got the spin. It's just really going fast now. June 2019. Terrifying. Kathleen Metro spinning nearly 200 times in midair. Her husband George watching. I just didn't know why. I didn't know if she was dead or alive. Crews rescuing the 74 year old from Piestewa Peak after she fell and hurt her face and head while hiking. It was terrible. This video is incredible. So many people have watched it. And I think part of the reason it's gone viral is that it's painful to watch. And at the same time, you just can't tear your eyes away from it. This woman is just spinning nonstop for about two minutes. And you just can't imagine being in her shoes and to top it off this is a 74 year old woman I mean what she was going through must have been horrible when George met his wife at the hospital you know her only first thing she said I'm glad I'm alive because she thought she was going to die when she was spinning and the big uh, hold back right now she's very dizzy and nauseous so Still. She hasn't been able to get out of bed. The spinning is uh, very rare. Phoenix Fire saying only a handful of results in the last six years resulted in spins, which happen when the main rotor of the chopper produces a down draft, creating a cone. Usually, crews can stabilize it. So we have a, a line attached to the basket to help prevent that. Uh, today, it didn't. At the time, firefighters assuring us Metro was safe inside. We use a, a very standardized packaging uh, system. She's also inside of a, a Stokes basket within that bag, so she has multiple points of packaging and uh, connections all over her body. But five months later, Metro taking the first step toward filing a lawsuit against the city of Phoenix. Oh, I hate to see this. In the filing, Metro says she didn't even want to be airlifted off the mountain, claiming she had no signs of distress, but they did it anyway. And because of that spinning, she says that she's had to go through rehab, have spinal surgery, and that also she's still dizzy and nauseous. The claim alleges that her medical expenses from the injuries and the spinning are nearly $300,000. She's hoping to settle with the city of Phoenix for $2 million. Guys? And once again, that claim uh, alleges that her medical expenses from the injuries and spinning are nearly $300,000. She's hoping to settle with the city of Phoenix for $2 million.